Bitcoin has been rising to fame, and a lot of folks have wanted to enter the Bitcoin domain. However, it seems that investing in Bitcoins can be a little too tricky. So if you're interested in learning the way through Bitcoins, keep watching the video. Welcome to the Crypto Hub, a channel covering all issues, tips, and even cryptocurrency news. If you still haven't subscribed to our channel, be sure to do so because we're providing all the latest and interesting content. Buying Bitcoins could be your breakthrough towards a prosperous future, so if you plan on investing in it, make sure you are doing it right. You'll hear all of that today because we'll teach you how to buy Bitcoins in just a few simple measures. Your first step in purchasing Bitcoin is finding a reliable Bitcoin wallet. Cryptocurrency wallets for Bitcoin are a safe way to store digital properties. Keeping your crypto in your wallet rather than on an exchange means that only you have access to the secret key to your money. It also allows you to hold funds outside of an exchange, reducing the chance of your funds being stolen if the exchange is compromised. Wallets differ in functionality, systems that support them, and stability, so finding one that fits you is essential. The first thing you'll need to know about crypto wallets is the difference between hot and cold wallets, or sometimes referred to as online or offline wallets. Hot wallets are another term for online wallets. They are digital wallets that operate on internet-connected devices such as laptops, smartphones, and tablets. Since these wallets produce the private keys to your coins on these internet-connected computers, this may pose a risk. While a hot wallet can be handy for quickly accessing and transactions with your money, it can also be very inconvenient. Tiny sums of Bitcoin or tokens you are currently selling on an exchange are better stored in these wallets. A hot wallet is similar to a bank account. A cold wallet is just a wallet that is not linked to the internet and poses a significantly lower chance of being hacked. These wallets are also known as hardware wallets or offline wallets. These wallets hold a user's private key on a device that isn't connected to the internet. They can have applications that run in the background to access their portfolio without risking their private key. A hardware wallet is a more common type of cold wallet. A hardware wallet is a USB drive device that safely stores a user's private keys off the internet. This has several benefits over hot wallets, including the fact that it is untouched by any viruses present on the user's device. Private keys never come into touch with your network connected device or potentially compromise software with hardware wallets. Now that you have a place to store your bitcoins, you can now start looking for a suitable cryptocurrency exchange. Signing up with a cryptocurrency exchange allows you to buy, sell, and hold cryptocurrencies. Users are usually advised to use an exchange to deposit their cryptocurrency into a personal wallet for safekeeping. Cryptocurrency markets come in a variety of shapes and sizes. A thorough investigation will assist you in selecting a secure and legitimate trading site. Several inept exchanges expose customers to theft and scam the small sums of money left by online frauds. Check to see how an exchange will protect you from theft before deciding. Because of Bitcoin's decentralization and individual autonomy ethos, some exchanges allow users to remain anonymous and do not require them to provide personal information. Exchanges that enable this usually run independently and are decentralized, meaning there is no single point of control. The most widely used types of exchanges are currently not decentralized and need KYC. Coinbase, Kraken, Gemini, and Binance US are among these exchanges, to name a handful. The number of features available on both of these exchanges has increased dramatically. Bitcoin and an increasing range of altcoins are available through Coinbase, Kraken, and Gemini. These three are potentially the simplest ways to get started with cryptocurrency in the whole industry. Binance caters to the more experienced dealer with more advanced trading functionality and a large selection of altcoins. While opening a cryptocurrency trading account, it's crucial to follow secure internet standards. This involves using two-factor verification and creating a unique and long password with a mix of lowercase, capitalized, exclusive, and numeric characters. Now that you've decided on an exchange, you'll need to collect your papers depending on the trade which may include images of your driver's license, your social security number, and details about your employer and source funds. The data you'll need is likely to be determined by the area you reside in and the laws that govern it. The procedure is similar to that of opening a traditional brokerage account. Then you will connect a payment option after the exchange has verified your identity and validity. You will associate your bank account or a debit card or credit card directly with the exchanges you have chosen. 
Although it is possible to buy cryptocurrency using a credit card, it is usually recommended to avoid doing so due to the uncertainty that cryptocurrencies can encounter. Once you're done with all those processes, you can now place an order and buy Bitcoins. In recent years, cryptocurrencies and their exchanges have gradually gained popularity. In terms of liquidity and function set, exchanges have significantly expanded. What was once called a hoax or questionable has evolved into something that can be considered reliable and legal. Cryptocurrency markets have now progressed to the point that they offer almost the same functionality as their stock trading equivalents. You're good to go once you've located an exchange and linked a payment method. Exchanges will tell you how many or how much of a Bitcoin you can get for a certain amount of money. On the other hand, Bitcoin values can vary significantly by exchange and from moment to moment due to its highly unpredictable nature. And if you have a lot of cash to spend, you'll still only be able to buy a fraction of a Bitcoin. Input the sum of Bitcoin you want to buy in the given field and press the buy button to make your first trade. In instances like Coinbase, it will execute a stock market buy order, which will purchase Bitcoin at the best available price. You may also impose a cap order, which allows you to specify a price you're willing to pay for a certain quantity and a trade can only take place if that amount is met. Following your transaction, your newly acquired Bitcoin will be transferred to your Bitcoin wallet for safekeeping. Then you can look for a way to move these funds to the Bitcoin wallet address you've developed. Buying Bitcoins has never been so easy as with these steps. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and take the first step toward a brighter future with Bitcoin. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and comment down below with your thoughts on buying Bitcoins. See you in the next video.